Hi, I'm John Biggs, and this is TechCrunch Makers. Today we're in a toy factory turned robotics lab, and they're making some of the coolest robots I've ever seen. Let's take a look. We're here with Sergio Scaff, uh, CTO of Bossa Nova Robotics. Bossa Nova Robotics. So you guys started out in toys. So yes. these are some of your toys originally. This, for example, is Spenbo. is a robot that walks, waddles, dances, and it's fully interactive and has a baby with which they play games. And this was your claim to fame. As a PhD student, you were building robots that had these sorts of that legs. That run, and, and they inspired the ability for these toys to locate. Okay. Yeah. So you built these toys for a number of years. Yes. What's happening now with the toy line? So we've always had the ambition to put robots in people's lives. Now is the time for us to take a step towards personal robots. So this is a very personal robot. This is something it's you leave with your children. To to it so it's, so it. what we're doing now is we're going to move over into the workshop and we're going to see some of the first prototypes of this personal robot, which I guess you, you explained as being sort of like Rosie on the Jetsons. This is where we build both the hardware, the electronics hardware, and the mechanical hardware. And what you see here, for example, is the controls board for the robot and uh, custom built in, in home and this is what allows the robot to stand upright. Mm -hmm. And you have 3D printers in here. Because it allows us to very quickly build structural components from which we can build prototypes and test things at, at a speed that we couldn't do before. So let's take a look at your first prototype yes. of the Moby, which I'm very excited to see. So Moby is based on the Bulbot platform, which was invented at Carnegie Mellon mm -hmm. University by uh, Ralph Hollis, Professor Ralph Hollis. And it's essentially a robot that balances on a ball. And to do that, you need to be able to turn the ball with motors and also to sense any tilt from the robot so that you can act on the motors and have them correct for that tilt so the robot can stay upright. And what you will see are actually omni wheels that act on the ball in order to rotate the ball in three dimensions. And we have just above it accelerometers that can, and gyroscopes that can sense deviation from vertical. And we act very quickly on the motors 400 times a second in order to correct any deviation from, the, from vertical and, and stay upright. So can we start this guy up and, and take a look at him? Yes. So as you can see, the robot is actually balancing right now. And so what's happening is at very high, at very high rate, you have the accelerometer and the gyroscope calculating the displacement of the robot and correcting correcting the any lean of the robot mm -hmm. so that it stays upright. So this looks like Robocop's ugly cousin. Yeah. You guys have improved this considerably over the past couple months and you have a basically a plastic clad model that looks like something out of Star Wars, right? Exactly. Let's see that. Alright, let's take a look. So after the toys, after the prototypes, this is the finished product that we're gonna see in a second. This is close to the finished product. It has a skin on it, it has the sensors mm -hmm. and it is a human robot interaction platform. Okay, so this is the Moby. This is Moby. And what is this designed to do? What the Bolbot mechanism affords us is the ability for the robot to be tall and therefore interact at eye level, but also be thin and therefore go through doors and in spaces designed for humans. And actually it has a single point contact with the ground, which means it can really go around obstacles. Mm -hmm. The other very interesting aspect of it is that you can actually move it simply by pushing and pulling on. And what happens when the ball gives out or something inside gives out? So if there is any problem happening, we have actually an e-stop or, it's, or it, it uses its own sensors to sense a problem and very quickly it will deploy legs mm -hmm. that are for, that give it stability very, very quickly. Right. So here we go. So instantly the legs come out. Uh, it's a new design that's patent pending that allows the legs to come out without power. Now where am I going to see a robot like Moby? Hopefully we're going to see some examples of it in museums, in airports, maybe even in retail stores, where it would behave well around people because if you elbow it, it just moves, mm -hmm. it gives, it's more, it's flexible. So is this going to replace uh, the people at the TSA booths with the uh, checking your passports and things? It might be pleasant. Hopefully it's going to be actually taking you to uh, the gate where you, where, you're, where you want to go, speaking in your own language. Mm -hmm. So if you're a foreigner and you don't know how to read the signs, it's there to help you. So it's a helpful tool. So this is Sergeant Scaff, 
This is Moby, and this has been TechCrunch Makers. Thanks for watching.